Season two of the Pittsburgh Business Virgin. I'm the host today with uh, Nick Cortazzo, and here with my co-host Joshua Maher, and we have a, a fantastic guest, uh, Plan B business consultant, business uh, coach, Carol Briney uh, from WorkFromHome.com. Uh, Carol's going to talk to us about uh, home-based businesses and what you should think about when you're getting started. Uh, this is going to be part of our expert series, so for those folks that are in the home-based business mm-hmm. or thinking about getting into the home-based business, uh, I'm sure you'll find the next three segments very informative. So welcome, everybody. Thanks for uh, coming Thank in, you. Carol. Josh, mm-hmm. thanks for being here as always. Thank you. Yeah, what I wanted to do is start off here and uh, you know talk a little bit around what Carol does. Um, Carol is uh, uh, works out of a home based business specializing in health and wellness products, um, and and your primary focus is around reliable reliable residual income. <laughs> Easy for you to <laughs> yeah, say. Yeah, it's a tough thing to spit out there. Um, and what we wanted to focus on uh, in our first segment here is talking about you know Carol, you have a, a very interesting story. You know, y- you had started out working for a company. Um, so I, I tell you, I don't want to take it. Go ahead and give us kind of your story around, you know, what do you look at or what, do, what should people be focusing on when choosing a, a company to create reliable resi- residual income? Okay, real briefly, I'll tell you a little of my story. Mm-hmm. I started out in the corporate world, worked there five years, decided that I got downsized or capsized or whatever, or whatever you want to call, call it, yeah. <laughs> and um, decided I wasn't ever going to give anybody that uh, – N- that much power over my life again. Mm-hmm. So I started to be an entrepreneur. I had a catering company, was very successful for, for 12 years, but that company kind of took over my life. I uh, became a professional speaker, spoke on time management and organization. And once again, that company took over my life. Mm-hmm. So in the interim, I was looking for um, something I could do from home, something where I didn't have to travel all the time, something that I could do on my own time frame. And I got into a company, and I got into the company like many people do. In fact, like most people do in the home-based business arena, I got in purely on emotion. Mm -hmm. I loved the product. Mm -hmm. My dad had a uh, life-changing experience with the product. And not only that, a doctor told me about it. I trusted. (laughs) He was my friend. And I don't believe for one second he meant to hoodwink me. Mm -hmm. I believe he believed the business would work also. We knew the products worked. But um, I found out, I got to the top of that. I was one of the top people. I was the top person in Mm -hmm. the Pittsburgh area and um, never made any money. I left that company because I found out people were getting financially hurt. Oh, I see. And um, I loved the idea of reliable residual income. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know if I could ever find a company that would offer me true reliable residual income that was Mm risk-free. So I created business criteria. I talked to all the people I knew who were successful and asked them if they were going to have a business from home, what company would they do Mm -hmm. and why? And my business criteria was created. So I guess, uh, you know, the primary focus when looking at starting your own home-based business, don't be emotional around your decision. Um, you know, you, putting together that criteria is going to give you a baseline to be able to look at it. And you had mentioned that on your website, Carol Briney, workfromhome.com, you actually have an ebook that actually walks you through what you should be looking for when you're choosing a, a home based business. Correct. And, and I think that's a great place to be able to start and, and, and be able to start a, or be able to put together criteria on how to choose a, the right company, the right fit. Right. You can get that ebook. It's free right on the site. And mm-hmm. it gives you my five years of putting together business criteria. Mm-hmm. What, what are some of the criteria? If you don't well, mind sharing with us your, your, your trade secrets. Sure. I Well, that's what I'm here for. Um, first off, you have to decide what you want from the company. Okay. Do you want to just be around positive people? Pretty much any company, any home-based company will do. Mm-hmm. Any MLM, any market multi-level marketing company they'll all do for being around positive people do you want to sell products do you want to be in direct sales well there's several companies that will do for that too you'll go out and sell products you'll warehouse products you'll inventory products and you'll deliver products um do you want reliable residual income 
that's what I wanted. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what I wanted because I don't know about you, but the whole thing to this working yeah. is to make money. Mm-hmm. Sure. You can do a lot of nice things when you have money and give a lot of things away. Mm-hmm. So that's first thing. You have to decide what do you want. Secondly, you have to look at the company. How long has the company been in business? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of hype around companies. It's brand new. It's ground floor. Get in. It's the yeah. best thing. It's pre-launch. Mm-hmm. I can't tell you how many co- calls I get. It's pre-launch. We can offer you. Well, what happens once it's launched? Most companies, home-based business companies, multi-level marketing companies, MLMs, um, network marketings, fail in their first five years. Um, It's like five out of a thousand make it. Wow. Because the product is usually good. Yeah. But they're underfunded. So when the product hits mass, they can't, they can't. I mean, there's companies out there that I know of that started and failed because the same woman took the order, filled the order, and shipped the order. That was their back office uh-huh. because they were that under, understaffed. But they don't tell people that. So they take all your money up front, and then you lose it. Mm-hmm. So you want to look at how long has the company been in business, and what do their financials look like? Mm-hmm. You know, are they debt-free? That's important. Let me stop you right there, Carol. Uh, let's, take, let's take a pause there. We'll take a break, and we'll come back in. We'll hit on some of the other advice and key points. Uh, in the meantime, check out Carol Briney, wherefromhome.com. Pick up the ebook, How to Pick a Home-Based Business Using Business Criteria and Not Your Emotions. So thanks, and I will see you back in a few. And also see us on pittsburghbusinessvirgin.com, and also follow us on iTunes.